Hey guys, this is my bunker base design. In short, the design focuses on controlling a small amount of land and fortifying the hell out of it. This is the base from above. You can see auto turrets on the outside on the catwalks and plant species X on the top of the base, on the top of the mountain and around the perimeter. Eventually every bit of the top of the base will be covered in plant species X. To deter aerial attacks and every side of the base will be covered in auto turrets but this is where our base is at the moment. Our main goal with this base has been to stay small so we have an area that is extremely well defended rather than having a lot of land and bigger base with defenses spread further apart. As you expand and take more land you have more space to occupy with defenses and therefore we decided to only expand when our current area was maximized defensively. All right, just show a few features of the base. Um, <clears throat> we've got our two dung beetles in here to make us fertilizer for the species X and our Fioma so they won't be going anywhere in that little box area. We've got um, a fridge here which we just store everyday food I suppose. And um, our weapons crate here, which we try and use these weapons as much as possible. And as you can see, we've got some master craft, apprentice, journeyman, ramshackle stuff. And um, most of this was actually raided, but we have gotten some of it from drop-down beacons. And we try keeping it there so that we actually make sure we use it rather than just storing it away. We've got um, some other stuff happening in the base, but um, it's still in progress. Got a bed under here and um, preserving bin here to do our meat jerky. And we've got a fridge here to keep all our eggs safe. Um, yeah, quite a few there. Over down here, we've got a little bunker sort of room. This is um, sort of, if we are being raided, a place where we can always respawn because it's going to be the last place that does get attacked. So I've got the bed down there and just got a couple of weapons that we can that we can utilize. And just come back up. If it lets me. No, it doesn't seem to be letting me. I might just hitch a ride. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, I'll just just close that up now. Uh up here we went for a pyramid design and we did this just because we wanted to we just wanted to do something cool just made it like a pyramid and we've stored some diners up there over here we have our kibble station and this here is just really easy to use we've got um got our plants out here so we just harvest them whatever kibble type we want to make we just harvest them and um, they're all in the greenhouse here and they've got all those watering tanks out there to water them and then you just put it into the cooking pot and you're good to go so here's our um, water tank and you'd basically just grab some water skins put them into here to fill up <coughs> And uh, once they're all done, then you just transfer them over to the cooking pot. And it's as easy as that. You just put all the rest of the ingredients in and you're in a safe, secure place making kibble. It's, an, it's a nice little area, to be honest. So that's that's about all our base, I think. Um, might just show you a bit around the outside on foot and um, talk a little bit more about um, if you were to raid the space, like the advantages and disadvantages of the space so I might just run through some of that so um, if somebody did get in this sort of area they would be getting hit by a lot of species X plants and auto turrets and all these plants on the top of the mountain stops people flying in close and if they wanted to do an aerial raid they would have to fly really high to drop down a bullet soaker which would t then take substantial fall damage when it landed on our base so basically I would say to attack this base, because we have this mountain, a lot of people would think it's a disadvantage because it is a blind spot. But you can't get through the mountain. Even though it's a blind spot, you can't go through that to attack our base. You have to come around the mountain to attack, so that becomes an advantage. 
we have one less side we have to defend against a ground attack. And because we have that mountain and all those species X on it, it really does reduce aerial attacks. So I would think most people would want to do a ground attack on us. So we would need to cover the sides of our base with auto turrets and maybe lay down a few rows of spikes to um, damage bullet soakers and stop people hiding behind them and getting in close to our base and just breaking in that way. Overall, I would say our base has come along really well. It is really cool with the center map that there is lots of these rocks and mountains you can build on and put species X on. It allows better coverage of the skies when defending. Anyway, I might wrap it up there. Let me know in the comments what you think of the base. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you are wanting to watch more of my videos. Thanks.